Well, my quest for useful fused glass is continuing. I just got an order from Tabitha's Glass Emporium. The most adorable little animals. I've got bunnies in here, which I plan to use. I have a lot of cane to make butterfly wings. Quite a few flowers and leaves. So I'm thinking refrigerator magnets for Easter. Really cute refrigerator magnets. These are ones that I think are probably a good size. It's just got that magnetic strip on the back. They're not too heavy. And they are, oh, this one's about two and a half inch square. This one looks like two, maybe two by three. I'll probably go with the two and a half inch square. And I might even make it a two inch square because these are just made out of plastic. They're gonna be a little bit lighter. The glass is gonna be heavier. I don't want it to slide down the refrigerator. And, uh, or goodness gracious, I don't want it to fall off the refrigerator and break. So I'll probably go with a two inch square and build out little Easter scenes using the Marini and uh, Fret. This size will also work for me because I have a huge bin protect a strap all in smaller sizes. I think based on my bin, I may make a few assorted sizes because this one is a one and a half inch strip. I have some two inch strips. So I'm cutting on one and a half inch squares and two inch squares because that's what the majority of my scrap. So I think I'm gonna make them up of freeze and fuse components, Mirini, stringers, frit balls. I may do a couple with those shamrocks just to use them up. I also have some beautiful little Mirini leaves. So next I have to start deciding what they're gonna look like. I'm gonna start eight of them as like a meadow scene. So I'm gonna start out with spring green powder. Do the bottom half with spring green powder and then do the top half with light sky blue powder. I'm gonna add some texture to the sky with light um, light sky blue transparent frit and then I'll use some chartreuse green and some of my own meadow mix in the grassy area. And this abstract background is just going to get one big butterfly. My glue is very thick because it's a little bit old. So I need a body. Oh, that's way too big. And then some antennas. I'm gonna have to go back and sprinkle some more on the edge. Because I'm not being careful today, even though I'm trying to. And 
I think when this is done, this piece, I'm going to stop because I'm making a whole huge mess because I just bumped the tray down here. Some days things go really, really well. Some days they don't. And so you need to know if it's not going well, just step away. Work on it some other day. days. Step away from the glass. I'd like to get this one done first. The magnets. I did not go thick enough. Oh, sorry for the noise. I did not go thick enough with the powder. So I either should have put them on white instead of putting them on clear or I should have done it a lot thicker. In order to fix them now, I'm just going to cut out white backings and I'm going to refire them with a white backing because if you put a magnet on the back, you're going to see right through it. The refrigerator magnets, now that they've all been backed, are ready to go back in the kiln. They're going to have to wait their turn though. Okay, let's see how these all worked out. Oh, very nice. I can still feel the heat coming off the kiln. Wow, I love the one with the butterfly and the... Uh, Daisy. Very, very nice. So these are all done. And I got the extra strength magnets to go on the back because they're glass and they're a little bit heavy. And when I glue with glass, I like to use E6000. And in order to make sure that I have a good attachment, I get some sandpaper, 220 for it, and just scuff up the back a little bit because it's very slippery. I just want to make sure it's going to get a good adhesive. And so here we go. Easter refrigerator magnets are done. When you glue with E6000, you need a 72 hour cure time for the strongest hold. So I'm gonna move these out of my way and let them sit here for about three days.